We will now explain the initialization and quality control of the CM200 light produced by Huruno Electric Company. When the power is turned on, the control panel displays the initialization prompt. Firstly, turn the handle clockwise until a click sound is made and the standoff is unlocked and begins to move automatically. While the standoff is moving, release the handle and wait until the standoffs meet. Once the standoffs meet, turn the handle counterclockwise until the movable standoffs are fully separated and a click sound is made. This completes the initialization process. Once the initialization is completed, the prompt for quality control measurement is displayed on the screen. Next, we will explain the quality control measurement. In order to ascertain whether the device is maintaining the desired quality levels, the quality control measurement must be conducted before daily use. Once initialization is completed, the prompt for the quality control measurement is displayed on the screen. Press Start key to begin the quality control measurement. The QC measurement step 1 screen is displayed. If there is any acoustic gel on the standoff, it may cause errors. Check the standoffs and wipe them clean if necessary. Next, turn the handle clockwise until a click sound is made and the standoff is unlocked and begins to move automatically. While the standoff is moving, release the handle and wait until the standoffs meet. Once the standoffs meet, wait approximately 10 seconds and then press Start key. When the QC Measurement Step 2 screen is displayed, turn the handle counterclockwise until the standoffs are fully separated and a click sound is made. Once the standoff is locked, apply a small amount of acoustic gel to one standoff. Turn the handle clockwise until a click sound is made. The standoff is unlocked and begins to move automatically. While the standoff is moving, release the handle and wait until the standoffs meet. Once the standoffs meet, wait approximately 10 seconds and then press Start key. Once the quality control measurement is completed, the results are displayed. Press Start key to save the results. This completes the quality control measurement. Please refer to the manual for troubleshooting errors or when operation does not proceed as expected. We will now explain the measurement procedure with the CM200 light produced by Huruno Electric Company. First, press the cancel key to select M for a male patient or F for a female patient. This completes the pre-measurement data input. We will now proceed to the preparation for the actual measurement. Place the patient's foot on the foot plate. Set the patient's heel to the rear of the foot plate and measure the foot size in one centimeter increments. After measuring the foot size, take the patient's foot off the foot plate temporarily. Turn the foot size dial to adjust to the patient's foot size. Sizes are displayed in five steps on the screen. Select the correct size for the patient's foot size. Wipe both sides of the patient's heel with alcohol swabs. The aim is to remove skin surface oils and allow clear ultrasound transmission. Please wipe the area carefully. 
However, only use antiseptic solutions to clean the standoffs and foot plate, as alcohol may damage them. Apply an ample amount of acoustic gel to the standoffs, taking care not to drop the gel onto the unit. Seat the patient, then place their foot on the foot plate. When placing the foot, be sure to press the inside of patient heel against the fixed standoff. Place the foot pointing straight on the foot plate. At this time, please be sure that the patient's lower leg and the foot plate are at a right angle. Turn the handle clockwise until a click sound is made. The standoff is unlocked and begins to move automatically. While the standoff is moving, release the handle and wait until the standoff holds the patient heel tightly. To begin the measurement, press the start key. Check that the patient's sex and foot size is correctly displayed on the screen. After checking the sex and size, press the start key again to take the measurement. The measurement takes approximately 3 to 10 seconds to complete. After that, the results are printed on the unit's printer. This completes the measurement process. After taking a measurement, wipe the acoustic gel from the standoffs. If any gel has dropped onto the unit, carefully wipe it clean.